Meantime, the Biden administration is launching a major push to get more people vaccinated, and not only in the U.S., but around the world. CBS 4's Laura Podesta reports. There are growing concerns the nation's mass immunization efforts have stalled. For all the progress we're making as a country, if you are unvaccinated, you are still at risk of getting seriously ill or dying. The pace of COVID-19 vaccinations has slowed in recent weeks, especially in the southern U.S. I'm just giving it some time. I'm not in a vulnerable group. I think it was just kind of figuring it out, see how everybody was doing with it. Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alabama have the lowest percentages of adults who've received at least one dose. They're far behind the states with the highest vaccination rates, Vermont, Hawaii, and Massachusetts. The CDC is warning of a rise in the number of young people being hospitalized with COVID-19. I strongly encourage parents to get their teens vaccinated as I did mine. Officials are aiming to get at least one shot into the arms of 70% of American adults by the 4th of July. Right now, that number stands at 63%. Many cities and states are using prizes and giveaways as an incentive to get vaccinated. Why are we doing this? It's because we know it works. This is a very, very common sense investment to save lives. The White House says the U.S. is donating 80 million coronavirus vaccine doses to the U.N. for distribution to global hotspots like India. An initial shipment of 25 million doses will be sent immediately. The rest by the end of the month. Laura Podesta, CBS News.